is by the sports that will charge entities in the spirit. It is by the swarm that will pull down structures of the enemy of rage. It is by war that will control principalities. We need to control principalities, power rulers, rulers of the earth. We will control them. And the season of detrimment is here. This is the season to reveal powers of the earth. Powers that control men's life. Powers that control the environment. Powers that control activity. It is as a source walk. By the walk of the source. <laughs> We 
we receive might. We receive might. We receive might. Wisdom. Wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Might comes even from the fear of the Lord. We learn. We learn the oppression of the fear of the Lord. We learn the oppression of the fear of the Lord. We learn the oppression. We learn the oppression. We learn the oppression in operation of the fear of the Lord. Operation of the fear of the Lord. Operation. Operations of the fear of the Lord. Oh, Thank you, our Father. I 
activate it in us. Activate it in us. For it is sweeter than the love of the Father we shed abroad in our heart. Lord, we thank you tonight.
God. It is a day not to be man, but to be spirit. It's a day to be spirit. It's a day to be spirit. It's a day to be spirit. These are the days that Abraham waited for. Lord, we worship you. Even like the disciples who said, increase our faith, we ask you to increase our faith. In other words, increase our spiritual stamina to be able to walk in the requirement of the Spirit for a season. There is a requirement of the Spirit for a season. There is a requirement of the Spirit. Lord, we ask that you increase us to be this requirement and to walk in it. We give you praise. We give you praise. Ah, Shakarabadiya, Katus, Katarabadiya, Lavagadush, Kanti, Manhatoshia, Prata Kadiska, Prelusia, 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 Katish, Prelusia, Prelusia. Some of us will come to the place where we should allow ourselves to be cheated. We should come to the place where we should allow ourselves to be robbed. We have to derobe ourselves. We have to derobe ourselves. We have to put away sin and embrace the Spirit. Embrace the workings of the Spirit for the other. We thank you for pouring upon us the anointing and the grace to live for this season, Lord. Because we can't live in this season by our own strength. The first season we draw closer to you with our lips. We draw closer, we come closer to you with our lips. Our lips are to take ten law. Our lips are all kinds of things that our heart will not follow. But we ask him that our heart should follow God. This is our heartbeat. Lord, this is our desire. That our heart should follow after. As a dear part for the water groups. Like the heart of the sun is my heart following after you, Lord. Let our heart follow after you. Follow the emphasis in this season. Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord is demanding so much from us in this season. God is demanding so much from us in this season. I don't know if you know the season that we are. I don't know if you know that this is the season of the giving of the inheritance. This is the season that God is equating the inheritance to, to source. When the time of inheritance came, praise God, you see, Amen. God allowed Ishmael to do it with Isaac in the same house. God allowed Levi to be in the offering of Pentecost for a long time. He allowed Isaac and Ishmael to cohabit. But when the time of the inheritance came, God said, cast out the son of the born woman. Because the son of the born woman won't inherit the, 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 the promise with the son of with the son of the promise. In other words, what the Lord is saying, what the Lord is saying, 
You see, Abraham loved Ishmael. How many of you know that Abraham loved Ishmael? How many of you know that? Abraham loved Ishmael. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for Abraham to let Ishmael go. But because of the demand of God for the time and for the season, Abraham had to respond to God by allowing Ishmael to go. There are certain things in our life that are so difficult, we have so enjoyed it and been incredible in us that God is demanding him that we should let go of us. Those things will rob us our inheritance. So God is demanding that each man should go. That inheritance to lead to the son. Because Isaac was a man child who was to inherit. Who was to inherit the throne? Who was not inheriting the rod of the rod of iron is actually inheriting the throne. And for you to inherit the throne, we kept us for the church. We kept us for the church. We kept us is anything that is against us. Thy true, O oh God, is forever. You are true. In fact, God is waiting to declare the same to you. God is waiting to say to you, you are true, O oh God. And because I've been qualified, that's why the blessing of Israel, the blessing of Israel, they shall put my name. His name is God. Hallelujah. His name is Yahweh. So they put that name to become God. So they can answer God. So God can say, your throne, oh God. That's why the essence of the fivefold ministry was to deliver the blessing to you. That's the essence of the fivefold. Where I I I you know went to share God's for today. And I was sharing uh, with us that anywhere you see the fivefold ministry, there is a blessing there. Anywhere the fivefold is, anywhere that vessel is, there is a blessing. And because in Numbers chapter 6, uh, from verse 22, it said, Speak to Aaron and uh, the sons. This is the way you are to bless Israel. And Israel is out of the church. Now the church is the true Israel. How do you know that? Now the first Israel, we are to shadow the true Israel. Israel simply means the prince of God. The prince of God. Now even in that church, they, they have the faithful ministry. Are we together? The five soul ministry in Aaron, Abihu, Adam, Eliezer, and the time. There are the five fold that God gave the responsibility to bless Israel. That's why the job of the five fold is to do what? To bless you with Christ. Who shall bless them, bring them to the place that the Lord will give them. Bring them to the place that the countenance, the revelation of the face of Jesus will be administered to the body. Then bring them to the place where my name will be put in them. That's why in the day of my commas, we inherit them in the book of Revelation. They are the inheritors of them. So the first four is to bless the church. That's why the impute of the of the fivefold ministry is what to bring us to the perfect man, to bring us to the measure of the stature of the fullness of God by administering life. So that impute is to produce Christ. That 
give you to be to produce Christ. These are the things that Aaron, Abihu, Nadab, Eliezer, and Kappa were to do in Israel. But yet Israel shut their heart from those decisions. That's why we discuss or study that the war, the war minister to them did not come to them. So that war supposed to produce God in them. That war supposed to produce life. That war supposed to bring them to the community. That war was to make a war that God they could not respond to it. God judged them. Like I keep saying, I, I, I share this on one of the ministers rest that the fundamental thing in the law is actually the Sabbath. Now because the Sabbath is a system of his government. The Sabbath is where God administers, you know, it's a system that he will administer his rule. That's why God never joined the Sabbath. If an Israel went into captivity, why? Because they, they, they do not Sabbath of God. Hallelujah. Sabbath is actually a system of God wherein God causes people to rest, to differentiate them from the system of this world. When you read Jeremiah 34, you see that, that the reason why Israel went to captivity is because they, they failed to give Sabbath to Judah. That's why they went into captivity. Not because they still. Not because they could not administer law. They could not release their own brothers. They allowed their own brothers to carry born and afflictions. They could not give them rest. You know, I've been saying this, what you are saying, that what I have done to you, do the same to your brother. Huh? That's what we have to do. I was reading the blessed the sermon of Jesus on the mountain. I, I think maybe it was uh, yesterday, I read Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, and, 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 and 7, where it was to say that, that do unto others that which you want them to do to you. He said, This is the law and the prophet. This is the law and the prophet. I love the way he said it. He said, this is shall be said, this will be part of no. This is the law. This is the law. And this is the message of the law and the, the prophet. So what you are saying by communion is that I have I have given my rest to you. Make sure when you see people give them rest. Not even the people rest. Huh? You can leave the body from somewhere. That is Sabbath. Sabbath is not on Sunday, you just fold your leg. Sabbath is not on, 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 on Saturday, you don't cook. There are some, some, some people on, on, on Saturday, they don't go out, they don't cook in their house. They make sure that what they eat was what they cook on Saturday. They are still laying, laying hold on shadow. They are still laying hold on shadow. So the Sabbath system of God is a system where we administer the life of God the world. That's why God said, remember Sabbath and give it to you. Remember the operation and the system. Remember my system and the value it. That's what God is saying there. Let's follow it. Like I always said to you, anywhere you see in scripture, remember, pay attention to it. Remember Lord's wife. Remember Noah. Remember this, pay attention. Remember, remember, remember. Remember the Sabbath. God has to instruct Israel. Remember the Sabbath day. Don't forget occasions to show love. That's what God is saying there. Don't forget occasion. Any occasion you see to lift up body, any occasion you see to administer life, don't joke with it. That's what we mean by remember the Sabbath day. That's what Bible says, as long as it is with you to do good to men, do it. Proverbs 3, verse 27. That's Sabbath. 
Put on 327. I saw one of your most group up 327. Not in It's not a set of room. It's not a set of don't and do's. It is a principle that when your brother hurts you, when your brother offend you, you turn it as the bedrock of love. 27. Yes. Do not put your good from those who it is in thee when it is in the power of your hand to do so. I love that when it is in the <laughs> in the power of your hand to do so. When you have the capacity to do it, why not give that brother who is demanded for? Five thousand. When it is in your power, now as you do that, that's the Sabbath. It will be your one You can do that on Thursday. God is actually on Saturday. That's why on Sabbath day, what Jesus was doing, what was he doing? Jesus was healing the people. That was what Jesus was doing on the. He was lifting. He was actually saying, that "This is actually what Sabbath is meant for. To lift this burden for these people, so that they can find rest." So a government is not like the government of this world, like when Jesus, when God finished creation, then on the seventh day God rested. God, God actually, you know, you know, you know, take a place now to start administering life to his creation. But unfortunately, Adam truncated it. No one ever Sabbath went off. Hallelujah. No mention of Sabbath anymore. People began to labor, began to suffer, suffering, you know, you know, until when God raised Abraham and then raised another nation. Now, because of what God wanted to do upon the earth, so God had to test the wrong day, came up to God, so God invited the Sabbath again. To show them the system. So we have suffered in Egypt, we have seen the system of the government in Egypt, where the taskmasters are treated the people. Where they cannot allow them to rest, where they put body upon them. They couldn't allow them to rest in Egypt. So God said, I have brought you to rest. So make sure every master was give rest to his son. Every master shall give rest to his son. So people around you must shine rest. People around you must shine rest. That's Sabbath. Sabbath is not something. I can go to my hero on Sunday and buy myself. But I can on Sunday choose to be in my house, cross my legs, sit on the bed, and not come down. I can't want my cheese. And I have abundance of food in the house. But the person who makes God doesn't have anything. I'm not going to stop. You see, Sabbath is a lie. That's why, you see, what I've been saying, we can't carry this thing with a good heart. That's why it is necessary for us to carry it before the Lord and pray. Give us a new heart. Give us a new heart. Because that old heart has learned a way, it has learned a system, it has been used to something. It will be difficult for you now. If you have 500 naira to take care of you this night, it will be difficult for you to take it and kill somebody else. Because you are not going to the systems of God. Because you are not known that you are not to depend on that. Because you are not known that you can give up that 500 naira as soon as you move from here to here. God replenishes. Because we don't understand the operations of God. 
That is Sabbath. This is how God wants to administer his creation. This is how God wants to extend dominion to his creation. So what we saw in Egypt, that's why all the nations of the world will see a system of rule, a system of government and they will shop. That's why principalities, president, rulers will not see another system of government. It will amaze them. And this is the government that we are bringing in. The government of the world. A government of mercy. A government when our brother offend us, offend us, offend us, offend us, offend us, and keep united. When we see, we show this. That the kind of that is something. And after, or rather, our time has gone because in that Isaiah chapter 58, I, I, intentionally. Stop it halfway. Because I know I will talk more on it. That's what I say. If you remember to keep up, go it down. And that I said, if you and call it Sabbath, we will go in there. Please, can we do Please, just do scriptures. In the next five minutes, we will. Let me tell you this. Oh, shut up there, buddy. Hallelujah. Amen. Bring us to F. Let's see what us to F said. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the bridge. The restaurer of the streets. Hallelujah. Uh huh. If you turn away, if you turn away your food, your food from the Sabbath. If you turn away your food from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure, from doing your own pleasure on my holy day, on my holy day. and then you now begin to call the Sabbath what a delight. Uh -huh. Showing that the product is where. Uh huh. Not speaking your own words. Not speaking your own words. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. Then you shall delight yourself in the ways of God, in the ordinances of the Sabbath. And I will cause you to ride. This is how I will cause you to ride on the right places. The ridings of the earth. Hallelujah. Is that okay? Go ahead. Is it? And feed you with the heritage of your father. Your father. So there's a heritage, there's a heritage of God you touch. Then there's a heritage, there's, a heritage. there's something I reserve that I will feed you with. That's what God is saying. You think you have seen? You think you have seen the best of God? You will not touch the best of God. Can I tell you something? Somewhere in Isaiah, he said that in that the least salt and the sun, that we have a strong city, and the wall of the city is first with salvation. Let me tell you something, all that you have been experiencing, you are just touching the wall of salvation. All that you are experiencing, all of these days, the miracle, the wonderful manifestation, they just are touching the wall, the city was finished. Then the righteous nation, I'm going to the the righteous nation that has the key will enter the city. So when you are touching the wall and you are experiencing all of these things, what happens when you enter? They said, and 
and, and the righteous of the heart can enter, then thou shalt keep them in the top of his. Those my things. You are just touching the wall of Zion. And you are being carried away. God is so great. What a wonderful fellowship. What an awesome place. Just the wall. We don't enter. That's why I say this is the season of entry. That the redeem of the Lord shall return. Then the redeem and enter Zion. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you tonight. We thank you for your word. Thank you for the things you are unveiling to us. Thank you for the depth that you have not even known that is in you. Thank you for the treasures of gold. Thank you for the riches of the glory. Even the things that are made available for sons. Thank you for the treasure available that we are not aware of. Because these are our own. Lord we bless you. We are enjoying because we have fast resources. In every time that we are not even aware of. You're just like a man married a woman. And the man has a lot of assets that the woman just to that about. It means that the woman was the woman is an owner of what she is not aware of. Bring us to these treasures. Open our eyes. Because as our eyes are being opened, we'll be joining into this inheritance, discovering them and coming into the place of maturity for proper utilization. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Open our eyes to the things that are meant for our peace. And Jesus told them to Jerusalem and said, If you know, if you know, in this your day, even in this your day, the things that are meant for your peace, for these things are kept away from you. Because they use religion to be away from you. Open our eyes that we might see you in more. We bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Am